Hi folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Warriors Rise to Glory. It's important to stress that what you're looking at here is a closed alpha build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. I did play the tutorial off camera, mainly because I was thrown into it and was wondering if I could actually turn off the music but keep the sound effects on. I didn't see an option to do that. After the tutorial was over, I was given the option to customize my character. I could change his physical attributes, I could put points into different skills, like strength, uh, agility, endurance, uh, different things like that. Um, and I could also choose a title for my character. Um, so what is this game? Well, based on what I've played so far, this is a turn-based dueling game. Uh, it's turn-based, so you just can't mash on buttons and expect to win. Um, you have ranged weapons, you have melee weapons, um, you can call upon the crowd by doing various flourishes and uh, get gifts from the crowd. Um, if you die, you can beg for your life and try and bribe your way out of death with money um, or just die like a warrior. At least that's what the tutorial did. Now I'm playing the first level after the tutorial. There's no crowd as far as I can tell. He just keeps taunting me over there. So basically on your turn you can move, you can uh, choose one of these green spaces. I'm the one on the right by the way. Uh, I can choose one of these spaces, I can rest, I'll regain stamina, health, and it's you lose crowd thrilling if you do that. Um, I'm gonna move... I wonder if I can change weapons. I don't think I have any other weapons besides that. So I, I have to use this stick. So I'm gonna move back here, let him come to me. Alright, he moved two. Right, let's do that. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and, and use, I have a kick, hit chance is 100% chance, uh, damage is 1, crowd thrilling is 2, stamina minus 2, light attack, 80% chance to hit, damage 1 to 1, crowd thrilling plus 1, stamina minus 3, there's a medium attack, 60% chance to hit, heavy is only 46% chance to hit, and uh, it does 2 to 2 damage. I think a light attack is what I want here. Alright, critical damage. Oh, and regard, with regards to sound, I'd go to my des desktop audio mixer and turn the sound completely off. I couldn't find an options menu anywhere. I'm hitting escape, for example, to see if there's an in-game options menu. I don't see anything like that. Um, maybe there'll be one after this first match is over. We'll see. Um, we'll go ahead and do another light attack. Critical. You can see our health and our um, stamina on the bottom left and bottom right-hand corners. He dodged. He's sleeping to recover. Or just resting, I should... Yeah, he's resting. Oh, I got a critical light. There we go. I think I got him. Nice hair. So now he says... Oh, money. You have defeated your opponent. The coward is offering you 85 coin to spare his miserable life. Yes, I'll take the tribute. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, this game has a lot of humor in it. During the tutorial... um. The opponent that I was fighting did like a MC Hammer-esque flourish that was... It even had the sound effect to go with it. It was, it was awesome. Alright. Um, might have been MC Hammer. It was an old, old rap song. I don't remember. Rap isn't my preferred music of choice. But anyway, it looks like I leveled up and gained some more stuff. Let's hit continue. Okay, here we go. There's, I'm um, looking for an options menu. Character, inventory, shops, dual, champion, fight, multiplayer. So this might be the main menu that I was looking for, but I still don't see an options menu anywhere. Under character, okay, here's, this is what I was talking about. When I first created my character, I had the, I had the option, I don't know why my name didn't stick. Um, there's the peasant uh, title, but you can also unlock a uh, breaker of two chains and different things like that. Uh, next is your appearance. There's uh, skins, hair, beards, eyes, tattoos. So I could give them these Adam eyes if I wanted to, or cat-like eyes. That's, that's creepy. All right. Uh, and then attributes. This is the strength, agility, attack, defense, endurance, and health that I was talking about. I'm evenly distributed for the most part. Um, but it looks like I'll be using strength for a while. So I may want to consider upping... Because I only have a melee weapon, so agility only helps me with um, move distance and range damage. And also unlocks agility-based damage, or weapons rather. Um, I'm going to go with um, more defense to get, so I can dodge more attacks. Bonus dodge chance, oh yeah, we're going we're gonna to be nice and agile. Alright, okay. Alright, so inventory. 
Let's take a look at that. Okay, I've got a shiv from the looks of it, or a knife. Um, helmet. So you can equip your character sort of like an RPG style. You've got money down here. Um, I'm guessing I want to go back to the shop, if, assuming there was one. Yep, shops. And buy better stuff. Um, so under, I've got a homeless helmet, which is basically just a barrel with a hole in it. Homeless chest, homeless gloves, homeless pants. I'm starting to see a theme. Um, scorpion sting, ancient ruin. I need, okay, so I need to have a certain amount of agility before I can even equip or buy this weapon, which is kind of cool. Uh, what about ranged here? I need, I, need I need more agility for the slingshot. So I can't do any of these archery-based weapons yet. But I can get this Imperius at some point, which looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I can't buy anything there. I think, I guess armor is what I'm going to have to go with for right now. Um, can I buy... Oh, that's just... Alright, I what is this? I, I, I think that might be strength, or it's another stat. I'm not sure what it is. I wish if you hovered over it, it would say what that attribute was. Just so I wouldn't have to go back to this, the attribute screen and compare the, the symbols. Um, maybe like a little tooltip saying, okay, that requires stamina, requires strength, or whatever. Alright, um, let's just buy what we can. Uh, sure, we'll buy this. Fine. And I've got 241, we'll buy, sh uh, this chest, there we go. Try it on. Alright, um, right click, right click, main hand, there we go. Well, that's much better. That, that'll that provide a whole lot of protection there. Okay, um, back. What else can we do? Duel? Champion fight. So I'm guessing duel is... No, what's multiplayer all about? I'm curious. Um, player one, player... Two. So I wonder if this is... Is this local multiplayer? Uh, so we can basically, in multiplayer, we can choose between different characters... I'm the top row, player two's the bottom row. I'm assuming it's a pass and play kind of thing. There's timer traps and buffs in the upper right hand corner. Um, maybe we'll do that in a future video, but for right now we'll just stick with regular duels against the computer. Okay, so we're going to be facing off against Jaziz, Breaker of Two Chains. Um, I can retreat for 64 money, which I don't have enough for. He's got a strength of 10, so he's he's... He's going to beat the crap out of me if he lands an attack. Luckily, I've got a lot of agility. Or not a lot of agility. A lot of defense. So I might be able to dodge his attacks and negate that damage altogether. All right. Well, let's go for it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Okay. Uh, so the crowd is in the... Okay, so here's the crowd bars. Oh, right. There's the options menu. Oh, it's forfeit and close. Okay. So it's still no sound sliders as far as I can tell. Um, I wish I could have turned them on. So, let's see if I can excite the crowd. Uh, crowd thrilling, plus two, stamina. Okay, let's just do that. So we're going to do a little dance. Uh, you can see the bar above my character is at 10%. They're still bored, but they might give me something. Let's go ahead and continue exciting the crowd. They're up to 20%, interested. Um, if I move... I'm going to move back here. He moves up there. Okay, so I can do a heavy uh, rest... Um, medium attack is 3 to 5, damage heavy is 4 to 6. I think we can, light attack is 2 to 3. Let's do a medium attack and hope we hit. Or do we want to keep keeping, if we keep them at bay, we can continue getting the favor of the crowd and possibly get something good out of it. It does 1 damage, but it's going to reduce our stamina a whole lot. Alright, let's do a medium attack. Oh, we hit him. Okay, he's down to 12. Ooh, we dodged. Nice. It's a uh, light attack. Um, did he just recover stamina, I think? Um, we'll do another light attack. Dodged. Oh, he hit me. So my armor is taking some hits. Oh, we got something back there. Not enough stamina. Okay, we need to rest. Right, he's resting as well. I'm going to move back and try and pick that up. Oh, nasty. Maybe doing this is not a smart idea. Oh, he's Now he's getting favor for the crowd. M movement bonus. Okay. Um, I'm going to rest. There we go. And let's continue attacking. Let's try a medium attack. Oh, nice. Critical hit. 
And I dodged. Um, light attack. 2 to 3 damage. 2. Crap. And we'll do another light attack. Alright, so now his armor is completely gone. And now his health is all that remains. Um, if we can just continue... Uh, medium attack. Dodged. Oof. And how about we rest... Well, that'll give me 17. 17 plus 4 is 21, so we're not going to waste any stamina there. I just have to hope he doesn't kill me. Alright, dodged. Medium. There we go. He's resting again. Oh, he's got movement bonus there. Dodged. Dodged. Light. There we go. He's down to 5 health. I took a hit. I need to rest. I'm out of stamina. He's resting as well. Medium attack. Alright, three health left. I can probably get away with some light attacks here. If I can just get that max damage of three, this will end him. Oh, he dodged. How did... Oh, yeah. Luckily, I dodged. There we go. Got him. Too bad I can't pick up his stuff. That'd be fun. What's he gonna do? Oh, he wants to die. I will... Uh... Show him mercy, I guess. <laughs> Is there a point to showing him mercy? Victory. Spoils of war. I got 396 coins. I got a bonus of 34. Got some XP. Oh, that's level. Okay, so some of those items from the shop are only available if I reach a certain level. So I have to continue fighting regardless of how high a certain attribute is. All right. So I wonder. Another thing I'm wondering is if my um, my gear will carry over, even if it gets destroyed in the previous battle. If I have to rebuy it, or if it just automatically repairs itself in between battles. Uh, shops. Actually, let's check my attributes. Can I get any? No, I don't think so. All right. Guess we'll spend more money. Um, we could do the. All we can really do is the homeless gloves. And homeless shoes. I, I didn't want to sell them. I was trying to put them on. I think I just sold them by accident. Well, that kind of stinks. Luckily, this is only a closed alpha, so I have a feeling... Yeah, and I, I, I wasted money doing that. That, that sucks. Alright, well. Note to self, don't do it again. And like I said, this is closed alpha, so I'm more than likely there's going to be later patches that are going to break my save file anyway. So I'm not too concerned with it. Um, let's go ahead and check out multiplayer real quick. I'm curious to see what this will look like. Unfortunately, this guy is covered by the battle stats here. But we'll do, say, this guy versus this guy and hit start. And I'll be curious to see if this is local, pass and play. And how player two... It, it, okay. So let's just move up. But at least you might be able to see some of the more advanced weapons. He's got an axe. He's got like a sword and a bow and arrow. Um, yeah, it's definitely pass and play. Um, let's do switch weapons so you can see the bow and arrow. And let's say he charges. No, it's not going to work. All right. So let's say power shot is 86% chance to hit. And normal shot is 100%. Let's go ahead and do the hit. Let's do the power shot. There we go. 18... Oh, we've got a lot of armor to break through here. Let's, let's do a charge. Dodged. Oh! Spikes! That's bad. Let's, let's get off those. I didn't even see those. Yeah, apparently there are traps too. Um, let's go ahead and excite the crowd. This guy can do another power shot. I like how the armor just falls off of him. He's got how many arrows? He's got one arrow in the knee. Let's do more excitement. He used to be an adventurer like me. Okay, now the trap is gone. And let's say he wants to kick. I'm just I'm just picking stuff. There's no there there's no um strategy here. Let's just keep excited. I want to see what happens when we get soup the crowd super excited. Let's just keep let's just keep dancing. This isn't going to be a battle. This is going to be a dance off. There we go. Oh, there's some money. 100 silver. Oh, there's a trap back there. 
So that's your plan, bore me. Oh, yes. Okay, it's rest. Rest. Uh, excite. Let's just. I want. I want the crowd up to 100%. Rest. Oh, there's a trap there. I think. What does that trap mean? Oh, oh, I, I know. I could do that. That's cool. Excite. There's some more silver back. Oh, there's more power ups. Excite. That'd be cool if there was actually a victory condition to get your the crowd approval or oh, all this stuff that I'm getting now. All right, that's movement bonus. That's coins. Let's move up. Let's move back. Uh, too bad these coins wouldn't carry over into the next battle. It'd be or into your oh dodge. Nice job. I think you missed. Just saying. He's just going to keep dancing. Look at all the arrows he's got in him. <laughs> How is anyone surviving this? I'm just saying. Rest. Rest. Uh, charge? Sure. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Alright, switch weapons. Let's try some regular attacks now. Heavy attack. Ooh, 21. This guy's almost... Almost dead. All right, rest. Yeah, not a whole. I, I want to see more power ups and more like from. I mean, I'm noticing. Yeah, granted, we're getting stuff from the crowd, but I want to see more stuff from the crowd. I mean, there's coins, there's traps, there's different things. That's movement bonuses. But like, what if you got like a one-time weapon, like a, a one-use weapon that was like super powerful or at least did a fair amount of damage? Like that would be interesting. Not enough stamina. Ooh! Dead. <laughs> All those arrows. Eh. End his life. Oh, that's bloody. Nightshade is victorious. And I don't think, I don't think anything comes of that. Like, that would be broken if you could just play pass and play and then that go towards your profile. But anyway, that was Warriors Rise to Glory again. This is a closed alpha, so uh, what you're seeing here is definitely not reflective of the final product. If you guys do want to see more, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out... Yes, he's waving. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. Hello, this is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next.